Now the question is, can you be eliminated from the Angler of the Year race in the first event? Because several traditional Angler of the Year threats had really, really difficult tournaments at the St. John's River. Mike Iconelli, just back to the BASS Elite Series, really struggled. He managed three small keepers in his first event back on the BASS Elite Series. Iconelli's 93rd place finish, clearly not the start he wanted. It makes you wonder, can you recover from a 93rd place start to be a challenge for that Angler of the Year title. Seth Fighter, the 2021 Angler of the Year, starts off 2022 season with a 60th place finish. Clark Wendland, the 2020 Angler of the Year, finishes in 59th place. Greg Hackney, always a threat to be an Angler of the Year, starts off the season in 58th place. And Scott Martin starts off 2022 with a 56th place. A lot of adversity for some of these top sticks on the BASS Elite Series Tour. It'll be a very interesting season to see how things shake out the rest of the way. It kind of makes you wonder if the old tournament adage, you can't win on the first day, but you sure can lose, makes you wonder if that pertains to the Angler of the Year race. The BASS Elite Series has only 94 anglers, so if you get a sub-top 50 finish anywhere along the way, you got a lot of ground to make up. 